Hello, everyone, and I hope you had a splendid vacation. We're going to come back and start with the present tense. So our first lesson for the week is going to be the present tense. Why? Because Ms. Dima and I noticed that some of you are writing the texts in the past. When you're writing a literary analysis essay, make sure you discuss the text in the present tense and not the past tense. Okay, so we're going to have a lesson just discussing present tense and uh, uh, in general, what is present simple, continuous, you should already be aware of it. If you're not, we may add another lesson next week regarding this issue, okay? And then we're going to start with the conclusion. So we're almost done with our uh, literary analysis essay or comparative essay. Uh, we're going to discuss what should be mentioned in the conclusion. This should not take more than a class, okay? With the guided sample that will be sent to you by email, uh, we're going to discuss it, highlight significant things that should be mentioned in your conclusion, and most importantly, and I'm telling you this from now, in the conclusion, you must indirectly indicate which text is more effective and why. Okay, remember this statement. The statement is very important. And after we're done with the conclusion, we are going to begin with Norse mythology. We're going to watch in the final myth for this unit, which is going to be Odin goes to Mimir as well. We're going to look at what this myth is about and it's significant and answer some questions regarding whether it's worth losing an eye to gain knowledge. Okay? Which is a bridge to our next class. Our next class is going to be very engaging. On Wednesday, we are going to have a debate. I will be dividing the class into two parts. Uh, one part will be representing whether uh, that it is worth losing an eye to gain wisdom, whereas the other group will be opposing the idea, indicating that it's not worth losing an eye to gain wisdom, okay? So you need to think a little bit out of the box. It's not a usual debate. It's a bit different because the topic is directly related to the myth that we're going to be covering. And this will show me that you have very good understanding of the um, myth. These terms, as you can see, are associated with a debate. Most of you are very talented and find the concept of debate, the MUN, amusing, and I'm sure you are going to surprise us, okay? And finally, we're going to wrap up the week with a reflection uh, play script. Uh, as we've already, we noticed that most of you were really engaged when we did the play script for Pandora's box. So we are somewhat going to be repeating this activity but this time, it's not just going to be about Pandora's box. It is going to be about all the myths that we've taken for this unit. You can you need to reflect a uh, dialogue, stage direction, character description, setting, act, etc. Okay, so I hope you enjoy this week. This week is going to be, um, let's say, a challenging week because you're coming back from the vacation. And I'm sure most of you are tired, but we're going to have a very engaging class with a debate and the group that wins will be rewarded. Okay, so take this seriously and I hope you enjoy the week.